To become a good designer, you need to understand and use the power of psychology in visual perception. How does someone react to your design when sees it? How does his mind interpret it? Gestalt is a psychology movement that helps us understand and predict these interpretations. Our brain tries very hard to find sense in visual images. That's why it looks for familiar clues in your mental visual library. It sifts through millions of image impressions until it finds an explanation of what you see. You've got a very powerful computer there in your head. Back in 1920s, Gestalt psychologists Max Wertheimer, Wolfgang Kohler and Kurt Kofka came to conclusion – the sum of the whole is greater than its parts. That means we see the whole picture before we see details. According to Gestalt psychology, there are five basic principles of visual perception – similarity, proximity, continuity, closure, figure and ground. According to the principle of similarity, we visually group similar elements. That would be the elements that share similar characteristics, like value, size, shape, texture, color, orientation. You see them as a group and separate them from other elements. Use this principle if you, for example, want to emphasize an element. Just make it different and everyone will focus on it. When we see elements that are randomly spaced out, we see them as separate objects. Once they get closer, we see them as a group of friends. We visually group objects that are close. Elements that are closer together are seen as belonging together. You can emphasize an element just by spacing it away. We move our eyes from one object to another as we would follow a path. Well, until it's interrupted. Your eye naturally follows a line, a path, a group of shapes, or even a lack of. Your brain likes simplicity, so it always picks the smoothest paths, these two. not those. You can emphasize an element by having other elements point to it, which makes sense. The principle of closure states that we visually finish in complete shapes. That means we tend to see the whole shape even when part of the information is missing. If what we see only suggests an explanation, your eye will fill in the gaps. How many shapes do you see? Your first reaction, and a natural one, is probably four. Three black circles covered by a white triangle. Seeing these four shapes is the simplest interpretation of what you see. Not the three circles with cut-out slices. Our brain likes simple solutions. Our brain separates a foreground from a background on a flat surface. We see an object figure against its surrounding, ground. It is also called positive-negative space relationship. Same shapes can be seen as a foreground or a background. A color or a tonal value of an element have nothing to do with determining whether it's a figure or a ground. It's all in the context. You can create an interest in your design by working on negative space instead of the object itself or even combining both. Science did not stay still since 1920s. Other principles of perception were identified. Here are just a couple. Simplicity. People intuitively prefer the simplest solutions possible. What shapes do you see here? One disk and two partial disks? Or three overlapping disks? Your first impression was probably the three overlapping disks, because it's the simplest interpretation of what you see. Simplicity of the whole emphasizes the importance of details. 
Keep it simple to focus on what really matters. Elegant design requires minimum number of steps you take to convey a message. A great deal may be happening on the page with very few graphics. In fact, adding more elements without understanding their effect can often make the message confusing. So, don't overdo your designs. Less is more. Familiarity. It causes a shape to stand out from its surroundings. We tend to see familiar objects first. In this display of random shapes and lines, which element caught your eye first? I bet it was the A. As we focus on it, it becomes a figure, while the rest of the elements become background. Similarity, proximity, continuity, closure, figure and ground. When Gestalt principles are ignored, design tends to look unprofessional and sends confusing messages. We don't want that, do we? So bring the power of psychology to your design work.